Hello, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm here again. Okay, so you have more than one minute to write uh, all the words that you could remember. So can you please now count, count the words, count the words. I want to see how many words you could write. Okay, how many words did you get? I heard 30 and one minute. 30 words, that's great, yeah. Roberto. Okay, thank you. Lucia? I have 36. Can you repeat? I have 36. 36, 36 words, excellent. Francisco? Thank you. I had 35. 35, great. Brian? I have uh, 46. 46. Claudia Lopez? I have uh, 25. 25. One minute. In two minutes. One. In one minute. Elisa? Minute. 45. 45. Roberto Eduardo? Uh, 70, 75. In, in 70, two minutes. 75? In two minutes. Wow. That's a record. But it works, right? Uh, Only the words. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Victoria? 45. 45. Karen Xiomara? Daniela? Benjamin? <laughs> Ana? 100, Benjamin. Daniela, I couldn't hear you. I'm still counting them. Oh, ben there are too many that Benjamin is still counting. <laughs> okay. Okay, Ana Patricia, and you? Uh, 58, pero me sacó la, la, la plataforma, no me di cuenta cuando cortó el tiempo. Yeah, mm. yeah, I all, it was, a, I had a technical problem too, my laptop updated automatically. <laughs> But I, I have 71. 71, okay, very good. Now, I would like one person to share the words to share, to say the words you wrote quickly, right? Me. Uh, okay, Anna, very good. Go apple, ahead. apple, window, finger, hair, brown, red, peach, house, chair, table, car, door, television, cat, dog, husband, wife, some, happy, busy, pen, shoes, eye, head, sick, movie, short, Socks, knife, girl, boyfriend, girlfriend, mother, father, sister, mountain, restaurant, far, near, country, lake, river, watch, computer, table, green, red, blue, black, white, daughter, airplane, airport, shirt, glass, cup, coffee, and bird. <laughs> wow, excellent. Congratulations, Anna. <laughs> Very good. Margarita has 75 words. That's a lot. Well, good job. I'm proud of you because you have a lot of words. And that's great because it means that you are increasing your vocabulary. Okay. 
So today with the activities we are going to have, I hope that we can get more vocabulary. Just give me a moment because I need to look for my class again and everything because the computer turned off. Okay. The computer, he won a vacation. Yes, my, my <laughs> I think so. I think the laptop knows it's Friday, <laughs> right? Yes. It's the first time it happens when I'm teaching. Ah, okay, but I can restore. Good. So now, guys, we are going to work in a vocabulary related to... Do you remember the class in which we learn about um, geography vocabulary? Do you remember that? Geography vocabulary. So we are going to review that part and maybe we can include more words. So we have here a worksheet in which you can see pictures of a geography thing. Okay. They are here. Can you see them? We yes. have. Yes. We have the words here, the vocabulary. We have waterfall, field, farm, mountain, river, lake, village, forest, town, and path. So we have to match the picture with the word. So what do you think is this? Farm. 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 It's a farm. And what is a farm, guys? What Grand. do you think a farm? A place? Granja. In, in, in English, try to give a description in English. It's a place where you can find some animal. Animal and vegetable. Um... Exactly, and vegetables. Very good. What is this? The second picture. Field. Very nice. It's a field. Yes. Okay. And in this picture with a lot of trees. Forest. 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 The forest. forest. Okay. The forest. And in this mass of water. Lake. 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 And oh, I like this picture. Mountain. 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 Iceberg. Mountain. 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 Yes, it's Mountain. like it's like if you don't pronounce the A. You don't pronounce the A. Mountain. 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 <laughs> okay. And this, what is this? Forest. But Exactly. Yeah, it's a path in the middle of a forest. But it's a path. Okay. Well, here in our country, we say, we say veredas, right? Caminito. The path. And this is a river. 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 Favorite place, the river. And a lot of houses. Yes. Oh. Town. Town, yes. Town. The best houses. Village. 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 And finally, waterfall. 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 Very good. Is there a new word for you here? Yes, but new for me. Okay, writing your list. Writing your list, the new word. You have to write in your list, but feel maybe village. Bill, what is, okay, is this place um, that um, people use it to grow or cultivate vegetables or corn? That is the field, right? Como campo. Campo, yes. Also, this, um, the place where you play soccer, we say the soccer field. The soccer field. 
Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Roberta. What's your what question? Is, what is the true pronunciation the river or river? River. You can say river. 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 Not river. Well, river. if some people pronounce the E and R like that. That is like the British accent. Mm -hmm, exactly. Because mm -hmm. they use the sha sound at the end. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, you can pronounce it both ways. But in okay. American English, it's like that. Okay, look and read the word. And now you have to choose the correct words and write them on the line. So a place with cows. Farm or field? Farm. 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 A place with boats. Mountain or river? River. Mm -hmm. River. A place with boats, right? Bote. Boat. Mm -hmm. A place with a lot of trees. Forest. Forest. Hey. Forest. 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 A place for walking or cycling. Real. No fat. Mountain. Fat. Or waterfall. Fat. Fat. Right? The TH sound. Pa. A big place with a lot of houses. Town. 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 The town. Do you live in a town? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 I could live in a town. A place for swimming. Lake. 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 A high place for climbing or walking. Mountain. Bye. Mountain. So, Mountain. 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 A beautiful place with water. Forest or water? Waterfall. 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 A place for planting rice and other crops. Field. Field. Exactly, field. Crops son cultivos. Crops. Exactly. What crops can we find in our country, in El Salvador? Blush. Farm. Beans. 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 Listen to me. My question is, what crops do Salvadorian plant? Beans. Beans. Corn. Beans. Corn. Beans. Corn. Beans. Rice. Corn. Beans. Rice. Maybe? Okay. Rice. Sugar cane. Caña de azúcar, sugar cane. Carrot. Carrots, really? Okay. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, in these high places. Very good. But the most common beans, corn, rice, uh, carrots, okay? Corn. Sugar cane. Mm -hmm. A small Rabanos. Rad uh, radish. Yes, radish. Radish. No. Okay. Also, cabbage. In Chalatenango. Coffee. In other place here Coffee. in Zapotitan. Yuca. In Salcuatitan. What do they. Zapotitan. 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 Yes, it's this place is planting um, rice, uh, um, tomato, barrel. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. Barrel. <laughs> beans, <laughs> beans, corn, rice. Nice. Barro in English is watercress. 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 Water Oh. Yeah, I didn't know. That's what I love teaching adults because you always challenge the teachers with a lot of new vocabulary. A small, number 10, a small place with some houses? Blush. A village. 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 Exactly, village. Marina. Ah, village. but I didn't write. <laughs> okay, very nice. 
Yes, excellent. We got a 10, but I didn't write the words here. That's right. Okay, but good job. Good job. You have the vocabulary right here. That's great. Okay, let's continue with the next activity. Come on next. Let's see the presentation. Yes. Yes. Yes, did you mean? Listening? When it says listening. Okay. Oh, sorry. And there, there was a problem with the PowerPoint. Okay. In the listening part, we have where should you go where should you go so in this moment i need you to to copy this you will listen to speakers talk about three countries and you have to complete the chart country what is their largest city and what visitors should see or do there okay so i'll give you some seconds or some minutes yeah some minutes for you to to um, copy, please. And let me know when you are ready. Everyone. Are you ready, guys? Yes, I am ready. Very good. And the others? I'm ready, uh, teacher. I'm ready. Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to share with you the audio. Listening. Where should you go? Part A. Listen to speakers talk about three countries. Complete the chart. 1. Japan has several big islands and many smaller islands. The largest city is Tokyo. There are many beautiful Buddhist temples in Japan. Visitors should try Japanese food, especially sashimi, which is raw fish. And here's a fun fact. The highest mountain in Japan is Mount Fuji. 2. Argentina is a large country in South America. The largest city is Buenos Aires. People visiting Buenos Aires shouldn't miss the downtown area. Many interesting people gather in this area. Argentina is also a good place to buy leather. And by the way, the people there all speak Spanish. 3. The capital of Turkey is Ankara but its largest city is Istanbul. There are many colorful markets in Istanbul where visitors should definitely buy some souvenirs. Then they should try the delicious Turkish street food. They should also try Turkish coffee. It's thick, dark, and delicious. Most of Turkey is in Asia, but a small part is in Europe. Page 76. Excer okay. Do you have the information or do you need to listen again? Listen again. Yes, please. Area. Yes, Many interesting people. Oh, sorry. Please complete the chart. One. Japan has several big islands and many smaller islands. The largest city is Tokyo. There are many beautiful Buddhist temples in Japan. Visitors should try Japanese food, especially sashimi, which is raw fish. And here's a fun fact. The highest mountain in Japan is Mount Fuji. 2. Argentina is a large country in South America. 
The largest city is Buenos Aires. People visiting Buenos Aires shouldn't miss the downtown area. Many interesting people gather in this area. Argentina is also a good place to buy leather. And by the way, the people there all speak Spanish. 3. The capital of Turkey is Ankara, but its largest city is Istanbul. There are many colorful markets in Istanbul where visitors should definitely buy some souvenirs. Then they should try the delicious Turkish street food. They should also try Turkish coffee. It's thick, dark, and delicious. Most of Turkey is in Asia, but a small part is in Europe. Page 76. Exercise 10. Okay, very nice. So now it's time to tell me about what you listened. So the first country is Japan. Japan, what is the, its largest city? Tokyo. 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 Okay. Tokyo. What, what can a washer visitors see or do in Tokyo? Monte Fuji. Mountain. Okay, the Mount Fiji. What else? And the temples. Okay. Temples. Great. Can you and try Japanese food? Okay, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The Shimi food. And I'm especially sashimi. Sushini. And what is sashimi? What is it? She said. Sashimi? What is sashimi? She said what sushini is. It's, she said fish. It's, it's like raw, a... raw fish. Raw means not cooked. Raw. Crudo. Raw. Not cooked. Okay, raw fish. Do you like raw food? <laughs> because I don't like raw like, fish. I no. like, oh, I like him. Why not? Love like it. a ceviche. Uh -huh. Like raw shrimps <laughs> or raw fish. Yeah. Like a conchas. Like <laughs> a no. no. <laughs> okay. Please try to answer in complete sentences. For example, you can say visitors should see or visitors should do this or should try Japanese food. Okay. What about the second country? What is the second country? Argentina. 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 What is the largest city? Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. And what? Should visitors see or do in Buenos Aires? Downtown. Are... Visitors should to downtown. Should go to downtown area. Okay. What can you do in the downtown area? Dance. <laughs> Well, that's a good idea. The listening didn't say, but in the listening part, it says that um, Buenos Aires is a good place to buy leather. Buy leather. What can you make with leather, with this material? What can you make? Jackets. Boots. Boots, shoes, jackets. Belts. Belt. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay, right. good. Now, country number three. Turkey. 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 Okay. Turkey. What, listen to me. Listen to me. What is the capital of Turkey? Ankara. 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 The largest city. Their largest city. Istanbul. 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 What Istanbul. should visitors see or do at Istanbul? Buy souvenirs. Buy souvenirs. The colorful markets. What else? What? What else can you do? Uh, you can buy Turkish street food. Exactly, Turkish street food. Yeah. And you can try. Coffee. 
the coffee, the Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee. How is the Turkish coffee? It's dark. Delicious. It's delicious. It's dark and it's thick, right? Thick. No ralito. No es agua de cangrejo. It's thick, right? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Now, guys, we are going to listen to the other, the other listening activity. Um, it's about four people talking about problems and giving advice. So we are going to, again, practice the use of should. Write the problem and write the piece of advice. Oh, sorry, you need to copy these, the names of the people. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Part B. Listen again. Excuse me, excuse me. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Yes. And the others? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, we have John, Ashley, Brandon, Brandon and Rachel. Rachel. Okay. It's in the refrigerator. Oh. You should have some. I made a nice salad, too. It hurts. Smells like del... I'm so... What's bothering you, John? Grammar focus. Modal verbs. One. Oh, I just know I'm going to fail. What's bothering you, John? Oh, sorry, Samantha. I'm really stressed. I have my final exam in math tomorrow. Don't worry, John. You'll do fine on the test. For now, I think you should take a break. Let's go get some ice cream. I'll buy it. Two. Those cookies smell so good. I know, they do. But they're not ready yet. Not ready? I'm so hungry. And now the whole apartment smells like delicious cookies. Oh, my stomach hurts. I'm sorry, Ashley. I made a nice salad, too. It's in the refrigerator. You should have some. Three. I'm really happy about my report. It's really good. I'm sure it is, Brandon. Hey, do you know your eyes are all red? Are they? Sometimes they get red when I spend a lot of time on the computer. Don't you use eye drops? You should. I think I have some in my bag. Four. Rachel? Rachel? Huh? Oh, sorry, Don. I was thinking about my vacation. I leave tomorrow for Gramadu in Brazil, you know? Oh, right. That's a beautiful town. I'm sure you're excited. I really am. I'm so excited. It's difficult to work. Well, it's already three. You should go home now and start getting ready. Really? Thanks, Don. Units 11 to 12. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, guys, so what about, what is John's problem? Or do you need to listen again? Yes, please. Okay. Page 82, exercise 10. Listening. What's wrong? Listen to four people talking about problems and giving advice. Write the problem and the advice. One. Oh, I just know I'm going to fail. What's bothering you, John? Oh, sorry, Samantha. I'm really stressed. 
I have my final exam in math tomorrow. Don't worry, John. You'll do fine on the test. For now, I think you should take a break. Let's go get some ice cream. I'll buy it. 2. Those cookies smell so good. I know, they do. But they're not ready yet. Not ready? I'm so hungry, and now the whole apartment smells like delicious cookies. Ooh, my stomach hurts. I'm sorry, Ashley. I made a nice salad, too. It's in the refrigerator. You should have some. 3. I'm really happy about my report. It's really good. I'm sure it is, Brandon. Hey, do you know your eyes are all red? Are they? Sometimes they get red when I spend a lot of time on the computer. Don't you use eye drops? You should. I think I have some in my bag. 4. Rachel? Rachel? Huh? Oh, sorry, Don. I was thinking about my vacation. I leave tomorrow for Gramadu in Brazil, you know? Oh, right. That's a beautiful town. I'm sure you're excited. I really am. I'm so excited. It's difficult to work. Well, it's already three. You should go home now and start getting ready. Really? Thanks, Don. Unit 11 to 12. Progress check. Very nice. Okay, so what is John's problem? One person. He has very stressed yeah. because he has a He has exam math. He has it's really stressful with tomorrow. his final exam math. Okay, so he's really stressed because of his final math exam. And what is the advice? Take a break. Take a break. Take a break. He Take should break. use this structure, please. He should. He should. He should, he should take, a take a break. Take a break. Okay, some ice cream. Okay. Mm, one person who can tell me about Ashley's problem. One person. She's hungry. Okay, hungry. Maxine says that she's hungry. She's so hungry that her stomach. Yes. Yes. Her stomach. It's, what happened? It's, to her stomach? it's always in the refrigerator. It's aching her. <laughs> okay, and what is the advice? Eat salad. To eat salad. Okay, she should eat some salad. What is Brandon's problem? Eye red. His eyes are red. Are red. His eyes are red. And what is the advice? He should should be use eye drops. He should use some eye drops, right? To put some eye drops. And what is Rachel's problem? She's distracted. Very exciting. She's so exciting. excited that she can concentrate, right? She yeah. can work. It's difficult for her to work. So what should she do? She should go home now and start when she's ready. And get ready. Okay, very good, Margarita. Excellent. Yeah, so as you could um, see, the listenings were difficult or easy? From one to 10, 10, easy. One, difficult. Maybe so from eight. one to 10, it was seven, eight, nine. Five, eight. For me, six. Eight, five. five. They were easy, guys. They were not difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for Thank you for participating in the activity. Let's continue. What is next? We have a reading, reading activity about experiences. We are going to read the first, the first experience. I need one volunteer to read. How much is that pizza? 
please raise your hand. Claudia, I, good Claudia, please go ahead. Okay, uh, how much is that pizza? Do you like pizza? Do you really like pizza? Do you like pizza enough to spend over $100 on one? Some people do. And here's the reason why. Truffles are similar to mushrooms by the ground underground. They're extremely expensive. They can cost hundreds of dollars each. Pizza is usually only cost a few five dollars, but some people have paid as much is as $178 to eat pizza with fresh, fresh white truffles on, on it. Yes, celebrity truffles on it. Celebrate celebrity chef, celebrity. TV chef Gordon Ramsay has won, has won a place in the Guinness Book of Record for inventing this expensive inventing this expensive dish. Very good, Claudia. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. So, how much is this pizza? $100 or more. Exactly. Why is it so expensive? Because when the pizza like have truffles. Make with truffles. Because of the ingredient, right? The truffles. The truffles are like a kind of mushroom that grow underground. That's why it's expensive. Okay. The next experience is, do you sleepwalk? Who wants to read it? Do you sleepwalk? One volunteer to read the parada. Okay, Francisco. Okay, thank you. Do you do you sleepwalk? Did you know that some people walk in their sleep? Well, you probably do because it's super singly, common problem. Surprisingly. Surprisingly common problem. In fact, almost a third of the USA population has sleep walking at some point in their life. The actress Jennifer Aniston is the one of them. Jennifer has set off the Burglar alarm in her old house by walking around while she was asleep. <laughs> okay, do you sleepwalk, guys? I don't no. know. <laughs> well, it says that it's a common problem, surprisingly common problem. Okay, so one of these is Jennifer Aniston. Okay, now guys, we have another paragraph. It said, Sail in a bathtub. One volunteer to read it, please. The third experience. Ana Marisol, please. The second paragraph, the other paragraph, Ana Patricia. Okay, Ana Marisol. Uh, set sail in a bathtub. Have you ever dreamed of going on really big adventures? One man has crossed the Irish Sea in Batu. Yes, you hit that right. Mervyn Kincaid is a sailor from the Ireland to Scotland in Batu, which a small engine attached, even better, maybe has raised a lot of money or charity. His friends and family have homemade donations. 
Thank you, Ana Marisol. Very good. So can you imagine go crossing the Irish Sea in a bathtub with a <laughs> with an engine attached? That would be for me crazy. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Thank you, Ana. Okay, Ana Patricia. Oh no, I hit sand. Okay. Oh no, I hit sand. Have you have you ever pushed send on a text message and then released you just send a text to the wrong person? Realized. Okay, realized. Okay. Hopefully not, but Bort Brown has. This 30 years old software engineer has just sent very cute pictures of this of his baby to his boss instead of his mom. Luckily, his boss is a good guy and understood the mistake. <laughs> okay, now WhatsApp has one option, right? And you can delete the messages. <laughs> now you can delete the wrong messages. But that have you ever? Is late. I'm sorry. Is late. Sometimes it's late because sometimes the other person uh, reads the message before you delete it. <laughs> have you ever received a wrong message? Hey. Yeah. Have you ever sent the wrong message? Yes, yes I have. <laughs> have you had an embarrassing situation? A lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once, guys, I sent an audio to the wrong person and it was very embarrassing. <laughs> it was very embarrassing. Yeah, but sometimes it happens because we are not concentrated. Now let's concentrate in the answers. Let's see how much you can remember. We are going to check the correct answers, true or false. The first it says, it, they, they were new reports. Pizza is very expensive in the US, true or false? False, true. False. 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 Why is false? False, false. Why? Also because the pizza is, is a few dollars. Exactly. You can buy pizza with a few dollars, oh. but I mean that is false. Obviously, if you want if you buy a truffle pizza, that will be expensive. Okay, number two, truffles grow underground. True. That true. Is true. Mervin Kinke didn't use a boat for his journey. False. False. Mervyn oh. Kincaid didn't use a boat for his journey. Oh. It's true. He oh. didn't use a boat. He used. What did he use? Uh -huh. Mervin didn't use a boat. He used a. What did he use to cross the sea? A bathtub. A bathtub, exactly. A bathtub. Una bañera, a bathtub. Number four. Mervin King K crossed the Irish Sea to pay for his bathtub. True. Mervyn King crossed the Irish Sea to pay for his bathtub. Is that the reason yes. why he crossed? Yeah. It falls. It falls. What, what did he do with the money? Vale, los voy a poner a... Charity. Skimming and scanning. <laughs> mm. 
Mervin has raised a lot of money for charity. His friends and family have all made donations. So, what did he do with the money? Donation. Okay. He donated. He donated the money. He has donated the money for charity. Okay. And number five, sleepwalking is extremely rare. Oh. Oh. Common. Common. Number six, there was a lot of noise when Jennifer Aniston walked in her sleep. Oh. Number one, there was a lot of noise. Okay, let's look at the text again. Oh. It says, um, the actress Jennifer Aniston is one of them. Jennifer has set off the bullet alarm in her own house by walking around while she was asleep. Oh. So, what did she do when she was walk sleep walking? Set off the burglar alarm. She activated, right? She activated the alarm, the burglar alarm. Alarm is la la alarma de robo, anti robo. So she activated the alarm when she was walking around. So if she activated the alarm. There was a lot of noise. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Exactly. So this true. Is true. Bor Brown sent photos to his boss. True. True. Mm -hmm. <laughs> true. Bor's boss was true. really angry about the baby pictures. False. Oh. 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 He understood, right? He's a good boss. He was a good boss, exactly. Very nice, people. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your answers. And now, what time is it? It's time to sleep. It's time to sleep? But don't sleep, walk, please. <laughs> okay, it's time for the wrap up. We have one minute for the wrap up. Tell me, what did you learn today? What is one example of what you learned? What activity did you like? What do you need to practice more? Practice vocabulary. Need to practice more vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. For your opinion, what activity did you like? I like wrote the words. Writing the words, okay. And what did you learn today? Is there something you learned today? What did you learn today? New vocabulary. I learned new listening. Words. listening. You practice listening. Uh -huh. so what, what new words did you learn? I learned uh, fat, field, and crops. Excellent, excellent, very nice. Okay, people, this was the class number 16. It was a pleasure to see you on a Friday. I hope that you can have a great weekend. I hope that you can finish up your homework. And I, I am eager to listen to you on Monday. I will listen okay. to your presentations on Monday. Okay. I already started it. Great. Excellent. That's the idea, right? That you have enough time to make it and to practice it. Okay. 
So have a great night and a Thank great you. weekend. And also awesome you too, teacher. Bye. Have a nice night. Nice yeah. to dream, guys. Teacher, con la asistencia, no sé si, si me puso ahí porque ya había entrado. Bueno, ya había pasado lista cuando yo entré. Ok, ahorita Ana Marisol, no sé quién más se me quedó. ¿Alguien más con la asistencia? Hey, teacher. Who is me? Martín. Oh, Martín, yes, Martín. Ok, ahorita lo busco, Martín Estrada. Carla Melisa. Un colocho también. Ok. Martín Estrada. Ya está. Ok. Entonces solo Karina y Yasmín faltó de nuevo. Ok. Y Edgar Fernando Portillo no estuvo en clase, ¿verdad? Ok. Thank you, guys. Have a okay. great day. Good night, teacher. Bye, good night. See you later. See you later. On Monday. See you Monday. Okay. <laughs>